I've got uh, the crew behind me, but you know, 25 guys that are back at, at home base building other projects, which is makes me feel good that they're there. Uh, and rest assured that product is still happening and it's happening out here as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, all right, so we have a mucky mess. This whole job site has been raining cats and dogs. Why don't you walk us through a little bit about what is happening here and how we have this staged? Because when we had you on a couple months ago, everything's color coded. We have a very specific process and you schedule out down to the 30 minute mark typically. Yeah, I mean, Really kudos, hats off to these guys behind me. We see Brandon in the background. He's our job captain for this job. We've got another job captain back there and also a crew trainer, Travis. But uh, what we see is all of our bundles staged here. Right. Uh, it's wrapped in plastic. We've, we've now since uncovered all these and been able to set a few panels even though behind we just weren't really able to set snap lines immediately. We had dry string lines, but again, because of the moisture and everything else, we're, we're using things that are a bit solvent free and gaskets and we'll, we'll be showing a little of it. All right, right. All right, perfect. David, if you could show over here and pan to show how we have this all staged up on the right. And then we're gonna walk over here and actually uh, take a look at some stuff. So, all right, David, come on. So we can say, Dave, that you know, just uh, Brandon's got a good job site already set up over here. He's got his specialized tools. He's got a laser. He's got the gasket out, and we've got some Titan anchors, and we'll go over that in a minute. But right behind us, you can see some flat work here that's been done by our concrete sub. Amazing work. Uh, we just shot everything. It's to the it's to the uh, like three sixteenths all the way around here in elevation. We shot it this morning, so looking good. But we've got our vapor barrier here our exterior stem wall and here's our uh, insulated slab on the inside and, and this is actually going to be a finished slab so a little bit of a slow cure here with the water all on right. top of it but if you pan out to the right we've kind of tried to we've tried to uh, tape this with the fentrum the Sega fentrum tape to the frost wall and that gives us a good seal but it also gives us a place that we can snap our lines right, here right. for the wall panel. I love it. I love it that you're using Sega. Sega is a sponsor of ours today, which is uh, super exciting. All right, so walk me through one of the things that you were doing prior to us getting here was doing the layout, and the rain was slowing us up a little bit on that. Right. Tell How do you lay a project out to do your wall system? <laughs> so it, it's funny you ask, Dave. We, we've got a real secure system that we train everybody on, and basically it has to do with splitting our two longest walls. In this case, they're two eave walls, and we find the center and we move out from there and move out. So, so this back wall where we're sitting is one of our long eave, wall, eave walls. We've got the parallel. And then we actually split the difference of this wall and take our diagonals, and that's our large box, and we can pull parallels all off of that right, afterwards. Right. Love it, love it. All right, so what we have going on, David, if we could, let's pan over here. They are actually in the process of of setting a wall now, Jay. Walk us through what they're what they're doing. So this wall is already set, but few few things to look at here. So as as Dave said, we're we've got a, a Benson wood wall, and and this is this is what Unity uses most often. So we have a two by three chase, and this is for wiring, future wiring uh, after we're out of here. And we can also do an added layer of insulation. But right here, where you see the OSB and the Resan, the Sega. Yeah. That is our vapor control layer that you see. So I, I, so just so everybody understands, I mean, this is so thoroughly thought out. Right here we have holes drilled. This is for future wiring or wiring that's going to be put in once they're wiring the house, so to speak, right? Uh, and then you obviously you have it's like an HU clip or a bracket for a tie down, right? Right. So this this whole system actually is our shear and our hold down layer. So you we've got these custom uh interior hold down so that we can drill these actually after the whole house is up we don't have to do it right now when we're fussing with the crane we drill it in later. epoxy it in place and, this is also though yep. you can see we removed one but this is also where we put our uh hold downs just our normal hold downs to the wall so we don't have to invade the interior plates or mess with the insulation yep. or that vapor right, control right. layer i love it 
All right, so moving up the wall, we have again Sega, uh, their, their risen tape here on the inside. I'm assuming this is the seam to the OSB. That's correct. So we're sealing the seam. And then what are we using on the exterior for our vapor? So over here, we've got the uh, zip, okay, let's go over zip wall. And um, you know, this is pretty standard for a system on Benson right Wood and, and uh, Unity. Right now we've got the windows installed, so we just left the plywood on now just to keep that protected for the short while. Okay. We'll remove those. We've got a brace up ready to go, but that's all pre-taped and you can also see uh, screws that we've pre-drilled in the shop. So this is on our interior of our thermal control layer. So right. we'll, be, we'll be drilling this with long screws from inside to, to the inside of this wall panel. And, and very like that on the other end of the wall, but that'll be on the cold side of the right, wall, right. exterior, and keeping that thermal conductivity either in or outside of the building. Oh, I love it. So through through what we have here, this is like a jack stud wall or what have you. Yeah, what do you so call this? This is just a continuation of this, but yep. there is a, a beam that there's going to be headed off, a on decorative top. beam, but also used to help support the uh, roof system. So that's why that's there. Got it, got it, got it. And you can see the gasket down low. Yeah. This is uh, the continuation of our air seal. So oh, yeah. typically this is spun upside down so we can uh, do it, but we actually attach that to this wall system first because it was so wet on the ground. We yeah. couldn't staple that down and it's a slab. So we stapled that up and that's what's keeping our continuous air seal on the inside of this building. We've okay. got our exterior for our WRB and our interior vapor right. control air, and that's part of that system. I love it. So walk us through how everything is staged. Like when you guys prepare for a project, I mean, that's kind of what you're known for, is, is having everything laid out, you know, so this crane right here can do exactly what we need it to do. Right. So, you know, there's two tractor trailer trucks yesterday that we were able to unload in this soupy mess. We got, we got everything stuck at least once yesterday. Uh, but now it's all down in front of the crane. We asked the crane to come in a little early. And we see Look over here. We see the bundles actually put in front yep. of the crane. And so we've got two more trucks coming today and that same thing will happen. You know, behind me, we've got some ceilings that we'll be using. Right. But these are almost all of our walls now and they can just keep picking. We also have the plastic on them, which helped us yesterday but now we're taking it off and we actually recycle all that shrink wrap. Yeah, for sure. Let's walk over here. I want everybody to see where David's show in here. Uh, David, come over this way. Might be a little loud, but look how these are paneled, uh, bundled together. So, I mean, this is basically three wall systems it looks like, right? That's correct, yeah. Maybe, maybe four, is it three? Oh, it is three. Yeah, so this is three wall systems. This is how it's coming from the manufacturer on site the stage and then how do you know how to stage these for the crane picks so i don't know if you remember our other episode but i do we, we uh we take all these geometric shapes and we free bundle everything and and i actually have a photo i think here. right here and and you can see that we have the 3d of right. this of this project and then we have each bundle and where it's set so so that that actual uh, bundle right there is W01. It has EO1, EO2, EO3. And so each one of those panels is in the consecutive order and how it needs to be right, picked on right. the job site and, yeah. it, and so on and so forth. I mean, that's really what it is. It's a one pager. Yeah. And Laminated. That, and it's the same for the, uh, the roof on the other side. Right, right. So, all right. So here we are, day one. We're a little behind schedule just because of the the rain, but that's the beauty of offsite. We can make up that time very quickly. Um, what can we expect to see this afternoon when we really start getting into the details of this set? Because we will be live again at three o'clock. So we're trying, to, you know, we're going to try to get down all these lower the walls. We were hoping to have every single wall up today. Don't know if we're going to be able to make that happen, but we're going to, we're going to, we're going to try hard. And so all these we hope to eat up with maybe some of the upper gables not yeah. on yet. And this, okay. so this is one of our modern homes that is a monoslope roof. So it's not gonna have a traditional gable on it. And um, and then hopefully if everything goes well, tomorrow afternoon we'd be able to set some roof. 
Oh, love it. So you're saying by three o'clock tomorrow, we may actually be swinging some roofs on top of the panels. That could be, but we've, we've got a little bit of beam work to do on it. Yeah, still, yeah. And we didn't start off very strong this morning. Yeah, no, no, for sure, for sure. Well, listen, everybody. I mean, if you're just joining us, we are live on LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook. Uh, and we are here thanks to SEGA, and we really appreciate them sponsoring us being up here to show you the Unity Home Project with, uh, with Benson Wood. Uh, we're going to be here again at 3 o'clock and then again tomorrow at 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. tomorrow, hopefully swinging some roof trusses or at least getting ready to swing some roof trusses. And I think also this afternoon, maybe we can walk out the layout of this whole slab too because, I mean, we have all of our penetrations for our plumbing, our air vents, our water lines, um, and, and take it from there. So, Jay, I think this is going to be an exciting project. Looks like the rain's going to hold off anyhow. Yeah, I think so. And we just missed one of the panels going in, these guys. And they actually brought in a slider yeah. that's actually already put into our panelized component, which is which is huge in this uh, in this world now. You can actually see the cutouts in the foundation. We can go over that as well. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So we have a couple more trucks still coming in. We're going to come back again at three o'clock this afternoon, everybody. Uh, we'll be on the money. Hopefully, the weather stays away and we can do what we need to do. But uh, I'm Dave Cooper, Jay Lepley from Benson Wood. Jay. We're gonna do some magic in the next couple right. hours, right? Let's get it done. All right, everybody. Thank you. All right, hey, listen, so tune in 3 p.m. Also, Building Modular with Jennifer Cooper at 1 p.m. today. I'm Dave Cooper. We are live in Hudson Valley, New York with Unity Homes in Bensonwood. We'll see you at 3 p.m.